All right, folks. So today we're going to be doing a little game. All right. So we're going to be playing a game. So we're going to be going by continents. And here's the rules of the game. All right. So we got the North American continent. We got the South American continent. We got the African continent. We got the European continent. We got the Asian continent. We got the Oceanian continent. All right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to spin this wheel, all right? Now, war means that if it lands on war, that means we go to this era thing, and that tells us the direction that a particular country is going in, all right? Um, if we land on revolution then that means we go over here and we pick an ideology for it, all right? If we pick ally, then we go back to the arrow and we see which continent allies with which. And if we pick vassal, that means we take an element of, of the ideology that's being vassalized and replace it with a different element of an ideology that is doing the vassaling. So we're going to use this and this. All right. So let's start off with the biggest continent on this map, which is Asia. All right. We're going to start off with Asia. So let's do the first spin. And we got revolution. All right. So Asia. Asia gets a new ideology. All right. So, plan and labor. All right. No, thank you. So, plan and labor, that's going to be represented by red. All right. All right. So, we got red. So, basically, the whole continent of Asia turned socialist pretty much. All right, so now let's move on to Africa, since that's the second biggest one. All right. All right. So I'm going to spin this again. All right. So we get to change Africa's ideology. All right. Okay, so dictative capital. Now that's going to be blue. All right. All right, so basically... We have Africa under under feudalism and Asia under socialism, pretty much. So, now let's go to North America, all right? Oh, looks like everybody's getting an ideology this time. All right, so market capital. All right, so North America, that's going to be yellow, all right? So we got yellow right here. All right. So, so far, we basically got North America, which is like almost ANCAP or Minarchist or something like that. Then we got socialism in Asia and feudalism in Africa. Goodness, this is interesting already. All right. So let's spin the wheel again. Revolution again. Good night. I bet there ain't going to be no more centrist countries left. And it's coordinated labor. My goodness. So coordinated labor for South America, that's going to be represented by green. All right, let's spin this wheel again for Oceania. All right. Oh, this time Oceania is going to vassalize someplace. That's interesting. That's a new one. All right, we're getting new. All right, which direction is Oceania going to vassalize? Oh, it looks like South America. Okay. Well, in this case, that means 
that South America is going to be vassalized. All right. All right. So now let's do a little explanation. So basically, what I've done, since Oceania don't have its own ideology, we're representing this as a hybrid ideology. So it's basically uh, a hybrid economy with hybrid capital and labor. And since this has already had an ideology and it's vassalized, not taken over, that means that it... Um, that means that South America now has a coordinated economy, but with a mixed value system, all right, which is why there's little gray dots, all right? Now, if it were the other way around, it'd be, that, that'd be a little bit different, but it ain't the other way around, so, uh, now let's, now let's do Europe, all right? All right, ally. This means that Europe will not be allowed, will not be able to declare war, and another country won't be able to declare war on Africa. So Europe and Africa are buddy buddies. Yay! Europe and Africa are allies. So how are we going to represent this? All right. Okay. So now we're all the way back to Asia. All right. So. Here's the thing, all right? So we've got Asia, which is socialist, Africa, which is feudalist, uh, North America, which is a market economy, and South America, which is a coordinated economy, but with a mixed value system uh, because it was vassalized by Oceania. And Africa and Europe are now allies. So now let's start things over with Asia again. All right. Ooh, we got war going on. Now, Asia is not in an alliance with anybody, so they could just full on take over Europe. But they're not. They're not taking over Europe. Instead, they're taking over North America. All right, so now we got this big thing. Now, North America, because it was taken over by Asia, North America and Asia are the same thing. North America's done gotten kicked out. So now it's Africa's turn. And we're going to skip over North America's turn and go straight to South America, okay? Oh... So South America's going. So uh, Africa's going to vassalize somebody. All right. So who's Africa going to vassalize? Ooh, Africa's going to vassalize Europe. Can't say I'm surprised, but my goodness. All right. So now, now we basically have a mixed. A mixed system with a capital theory value in Europe. All right, so this this is this is getting fairly interesting. It's getting fairly interesting. Now let's skip over North America because North America don't exist no more. North America being taken over by Asia, and we're gonna go straight. We're gonna go straight to. Uh, South America. Now, this alliance is still going on. All right? This vassalization did not break the alliance. The only thing that would break the alliance would be war. And that war, it, yeah. If it get, if Africa vassalizes Europe again, then Europe is going to be taken over by Africa. But uh, the, the alliance hasn't been broken yet. So, we have South America now, all right? Ooh, so South America's going to get into a war. Oh, boy. South America's getting into war. Oh, is South America going to attack? Well, South America can't go south, so let's do that again. Ooh, 
South America is going to go top right. Well, the only continent that's top right is Europe. So South America is going to attack Europe. All right. So, Europe don't exist no more. All right. So, that alliance between Europe and Africa, that ain't no more. All right. That's gone. So, now Africa could attack Europe, but it could also attack South America. And it would take out both of them. All right. So, now we got some, we got some pretty powerful folks now. Ooh, it looks like, looks like Oceania is going to vassalize somebody. Who are they going to vassalize? Well, they can't go down. Oh, man. Well, flitter sticks. All right, so... Now we have it. Now this is this is fairly interesting. Apparently in this timeline, it is really powerful to have mix between the labor theory of value and the capital theory of value because my goodness, that's successful. All right. Apparently, Oceania is really good at it. So now here's the summary. South America and Europe are now the same force. North America and Asia are now the same force. But both South America, Europe, and Asia, North America are both vassalized by Oceania. So Oceania is pretty powerful. Now, not much has happened to Africa, but let's see if anything continues to go on. Africa tried to vassalize Europe, but Europe got taken over by South America. So let's let's see how this ends up. Ooh, we got war from Asia. Which one is Asia gonna attack? Oh boy. Oh boy, there's only one continent in that direction. Oh boy. Well, Looks like feudalism's dead. All right, so that's a huge thing of a jiggy. All right, so now let's go to South America, Europe. All right, this South America, Europe thing. Let's spin the wheel for that. Ooh, revolution. Now, revolution undoes vassalization. All right, so let's see what this is going to turn into. All right, so we got yellow again. All right, so that that's definitely interesting. And that's a that's a big part of uh, Oceanian influence gone. So now now Oceania hadn't really influenced the whole world yet. All right, it, it all it it did for a little while, but now its influence is starting to crack a little. All right. See, its influence is starting to crack a little. But now let's do Oceania, all right? Let, let, let's figure out what Oceania is going to do. Oh, Oceania is going to ally. Now, specifically, who is Oceania going to ally with? So far, Oceania is, well, Oceania can't ally down. So far, Oceania, oh, well, that's interesting. So now, who Oceania is playing it smart over here. Oceania has basically influenced the whole world, and the one part of the world that Oceania hadn't influenced, Oceania is going to ally with, making it impossible for either of them to declare war on each other. Ooh, now that's 
this is pretty smart right here. All right. So, so far, we've got Asia, Africa, and North America all under the same force. And South America and Europe under the same force. But South America and Europe uh, revolted and removed their vassalization. All right. But are now allied with Oceania. All right. So far, Oceania has managed to keep quite a bit of influence over this game. So now let's go back to Asia. Oh, ho, ho. now Asia's going to vassalize somebody. Now this is interesting. Who is Asia going to vassalize? Well, flitter sticks. It looks like Asia is going to vassalize South America, Europe. All right. So, so far, we now have... All right, so... Most of the world is currently under a planned mixed economy, all right? So it's a planned economy with both labor and capital theory value. Uh, then you got another portion right here that's under a market economy, but has labor theory value exclusively. And then you just got this centrist economy right here in Oceania. So now let's do South America, Europe, all right? Let's, let's figure out what they do. All right, and we got war. Ooh, we got war going on. Now, remember, this alliance ship between uh, this place and Oceania, there, there's only one way to do it. Now, it could break the alliance, but it won't actually do an effect So, because the alliance acts like a buffer. Well, it, it can't do that. So, it has to attack Asia. Good night. Stop doing down. All right. Well, there we go. Most of the world is now under control. Oh, boy. All right. So, pretty much, it's just the world versus Oceania. So pretty much it's just the world versus Oceania. But Oceania still gets its turn. All right? Oceania still gets its turn. And if Oceania decides to declare war, there ain't much to do. Oh, Oceania finally decided to do revolution. Let's see what Oceania becomes. All right. Now, they're still in an alliance, believe it or not. There is still an alliance, which means they can't do war just yet. Oh, market capital. Well, now that's interesting. All right. So, basically what happened was this labor theory value market economy took over the whole world except for Oceania. It still has an alliance with Oceania, but Oceania now has revolution where it's now a market economy with capital theory value. So this, this is definitely getting interesting here. Uh, there ain't no telling. So now, now let's do the whole world. Let, let's, let's see what the whole world does. See what most of the world does with Oceania. Oh, boy. Well, we only know, we know there's only one way there can be war, but the thing is, all that does is neutralize the alliance. It doesn't actually successfully take over Oceania. So, we just... We just lost this turn. Goodness gracious. Now it's time for Oceania's turn. 
If Oceania declares war, Oceania will have absolutely won the game. Nope, Oceania <laughs> decided to ally. To redo the alliance. Oh boy. We're going back and forth here, aren't we? Let, let's let's see what they do. If they vassalize. Nope, they're it, it's gonna be war. It's gonna be war, so we're going back and forth here. Alright. So now now we're right back to where we started again. <laughs> All right. So now let now let's figure out what Oceania does in response to having their alliance broken twice in a row. All right. They're going to revolt. <laughs> oh goodness. So let let let's see let's see what they're going to revolt to. All right. going to be interesting. Coordinated labor. Man, we haven't seen that in a while. We have not seen that in a while. All right. So now things are getting a little interesting. Now let's see what the rest of the world does. The rest of the world's going fast. <laughs> oh boy. So we're going to vassalize this then. All right. So Oceania... Oceania done, revolted twice, had their alliance broken twice. All in a row. That's, that's interesting right there. Now, that, now let's see what they're going to do. If they declare war, they're going to win the game. Oh, is it going to be war or revolution? It's going to be revolution. <laughs> All right, let, let's, let's see what Oceania is going to become. Which, again, this is going to undo the vassalization. Plan and labor. So it's now a planning economy. All right. So it's now a planned labor economy. All right. So now let's see what the rest of the world's going to do. Because not the rest of the world's going to do revolution. I, I, th I think that's going to be a little interesting right there. Well, they might, they might. Oh, we got the whole world becoming revolting. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. If the whole world becomes planning labor, then the whole world, nope, the, plan the whole world's going to be coordinated labor instead, all right? All right, so now the whole world is under some form of labor economy, all right? So now let's see what Oceania's gonna do. If Oceania will just declare war, they will unite the entire world. But no, Oceania's going to be revolting. So let's see what Oceania's gonna do. Oceania's like this world's French. They're constantly revolting. All the time. Market capital. Well, that that was a short-lived labor united world. That, that was pretty short-lived right there. That was pretty short-lived. Oh, goodness. All right, now for the rest of the world. Let's see what the rest of the world's going to do. The rest of the world will just declare war. There ain't no one like It's going to revolt. The rest of the world's going to revolt. They're going to revolt. Okay, whatever. Yep, revolution. Oh, yada, yada. Yep. But they're going to revolt in the same ideology that they already were in. 
Well, let's redo that then. Let, let's, let's redo the rest of the world spin since we got the exact same results as... Oh. Oh my goodness gracious. We got or We finally... We finally got it. We finally united the whole world under one ideology, and that ideology is coordinated labor economy. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this little game. I hope this was a nice change of pace for you. Uh, if you want to support the channel, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See y'all.